and welcome to another reading for 24 hours vlog. Um, it is late. It is one o'clock in the morning. I took a nap from nine till 1230. I am groggy. I am exhausted, but I am ready to go. And I bet you can hear Dusty in the background. Um, I'm going to start with The Wicked Deep. I'm already like 25 pages in. You can see I tabbed it all up. Um, but the other two books that I'll be read, or yeah, the other two books that I'll be reading are These Witches Don't Burn. And I'm, I think I'm gonna kind of flip flop between these. I don't know which one I'm gonna choose, but I think The Graces is gonna be the other one. So hopefully I can get all of those done in 24 hours. Um, well, I guess 23 because I slept through the first hour. But so let's go ahead and get started on this one. Okay, so I'm exhausted and I don't know if I'm going to stay up like super long. <laughs> but I'm still reading The Wicked Deep. It's super good. I am on page 86. So I've already gotten through two of my post-it notes. And I mean, I'm pretty far. I don't remember how many pages this book has. A little over 300, I think. Um, it's really good so far. It's kind of spooky, which being this late at night, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, so I feel like I may need to change my location here soon because I'm getting so comfy that I'm getting sleepy again. Also, I'm freezing, which is thankfully keeping me awake. <laughs> I'm on page 165. Um, I think that's a little over halfway or like right at halfway. Hold on. Okay, so it's a little over halfway. I've only got, I'm trying to think, 140 pages left. Hopefully I can get that done before five o'clock because I would like to sleep a little bit, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, so I've only got 66 pages left, and this is so good. Like, it's, it was kind of spooky, but now it's like kind of sad and emotional. I don't, like, I'm loving this book. I thought it was gonna be like, okay, or that I thought it was gonna be like, pretty good. This is really, really good. Um, I can't wait to finish this. And then I don't know if I'm gonna continue on to another book or if I'm just gonna go to sleep because I'm exhausted. I just finished The Wicked Deep. Oh my gosh, this was such a good book. I, like, I guessed everything that was happening. I knew what was going on, but the writing was just so beautiful. And I love how fast paced this was. Oh my gosh this was one of the best books i've read or one of the best like witchy books i've read um i don't think this is gonna make like my top 10 books of the year or anything um solid like four and a half stars though i i really really enjoyed this a lot and it's making me optimistic for the next book that i pick up but I don't know if I want to pick up a book right now or if I want to wait because I only have, because between the two other books that I have tabbed up for today, I only have 15 tabs left and I've got 19 hours left, I think. So, I mean, I could technically sleep for a little while and be totally fine, but... Now I have to decide, do I want to start The Graces or do I want to start These Witches Don't Burn? <sighs> I don't know yet. It's like five o'clock in the morning now. Actually, it's not even five o'clock, I don't think, but I'm tired. Okay, I'm, the book is upside down. Um, it's almost six o'clock. I have to get up in two and a half hours, no, three hours to go to church. I'm exhausted. I'm on page 30. 
of these witches don't burn. It's good so far, I guess. But I'm exhausted and I think I'm gonna go to bed. So good morning. Um, it is pretty much nine o'clock because I woke up at eight and I've spent the past hour just going through my phone looking at dumb stuff. But hopefully I can get myself ready really quick and read a little bit before we leave. And I will be bringing my book with me. So I will actually like hopefully get the other two books done today. If not, I will definitely finish one and get a good chunk of the third one done, which I think will be a success. Okay, so I had to take Alan back to Fanboy Expo real quick just because there was a t-shirt that I couldn't stop thinking about and he had a weekend pass. So I sent him in there with money to get this shirt for me. <laughs> um, if he comes out with the one that I want, I gave him two that he could choose from. If he comes out with the one that I really want, it's a Treasure Planet shirt and I will 100% be wearing it in my next video. So just be aware of that. <laughs> but I am in the parking garage just waiting until he comes back. I'm going to try and get as much of these Witches Don't Burn done as I can because I have fallen severely behind. I still have six post-it notes in this book alone and it's already like almost 12 o'clock so that means i've got a half a day to get two books done okay so we are finally back at home <laughs> i am 111 pages into these witches don't burn and that looks like to be about a third hopefully i can finish these last two books but i also have a video to film edit and schedule and I have to make dinner at some point. Um, so we'll see if that actually works out. So it's three o'clock and I am having trouble focusing. I don't know why, because this is a good book. I'm a little over halfway. I'm on 170. I think I'll get it done by the end of today. I've still got what, eight hours? No nine hours left so I've got nine hours to finish this and the graces which I don't think is gonna happen <laughs> but one can hope I hope okay so I kind of forgot to update you all at all and I finished these witches don't burn oh my gosh so good uh, four stars I'm not giving it a perfect five Maybe it's a 4.5. Anyway, it's not a full five, but it was really, really, really good. Um, I love the relationships in this book. I love the element of witchiness. And I, I don't know, do I like contemporaries that have a little bit of magic in them? I think I might. Okay, so <clears throat> I've only got a little under five hours left and I'm on page 78. There's like 336 pages, I think. So I don't know if I'm gonna get this done, but I'm gonna try really hard. <laughs> and if I fall asleep before midnight, I there was an effort, so I can't be too mad at myself. Okay, so I'm still reading The Graces. I've got like 190 pages or something like that. I don't think I'm gonna end up finishing this because I've got three hours and I'm getting very sleepy. <laughs> it's okay. I think since I read two like really, really good books that I think I'm kind of waning a little bit on this one because it's not grabbing my attention the way the other two did. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I reach um, the halfway point, which should be here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Hello, so this is Casey from the future, also technically editing Casey. Um, I totally forgot to close out this vlog, and this is like four days later when I'm vlog or when I'm uh, editing this to put it together for my channel, and there's no outro, so maybe I should update you all on what happened afterwards. <laughs> Um, I did end up finishing The Graces, but not until the next day. I ran out of a little bit of time because of a family issue, but that is okay. 
things like that happen, it's fine. Um, so I did end up reading all three of these books, which I am shocked about. So there's The Graces, did not like, super boring. I've seen this book described as Twilight with Witches, and I absolutely agree with that assumption. It did not flatter any of the characters whatsoever. I understand some of them were supposed to be unlikable, but like they were painfully unlikable. Um, I found myself getting really bored and it just did not hold my attention whatsoever. I think I gave it a two star. It wasn't offensive or anything, so it's just a two star. It was just eh. And then let's talk about both of these beauties. Oh, I loved both of these books so much. Um, if I'm going in order though, I went back to front. So let's talk about these witches don't burn real quick. This book is so good. The relationships in this book are just so organic and wholesome and I love them. And just the characters were fantastic. They were totally like very realistic, very open with their emotions, but also like they had some issues. I loved this book so much. I can't wait to read the next one because this is gonna be a series. I like am so pumped. I'm so glad I picked this up on a whim. I just, I can't wait. And then The Wicked Deep. Okay, can we talk about The Wicked Deep real quick? <laughs> like, I know I gushed about this in my vlog, obviously because that's what you're watching right now, but this book, as pretty as it, as it is on the outside, it's even prettier on the inside. This book was amazing. Like I kept saying it was a 4.5 because I didn't wanna make it a full five. I think I'm gonna make this a full five because this book was just so perfect. Uh, the characters, the dynamic between everybody, just the surprises, I totally guessed them all, but the writing style, guys, pretty flowery writing, done the right way is so underappreciated. I loved this. I will cherish this book. Can't wait to pick up Shay Earnshaw's next book. I love this book so much. <laughs> I do think it's probably gonna end up being one of my top 10, not my top five, but it's probably gonna be one of my top 10 books of the year. Um, I genuinely just don't have enough good things to say about this book. So yeah, that is my wrap up for this vlog. Thank you all so much for being patient with me because this vlog is a hot mess. Obviously by the fact that I have an outro that is four days later. Anyway, I did finish three books, all part of the Witch Please Readathon. I think I did fantastically. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so if you all are participating in the which please read the thon right now. Please tell me down below what you all are reading, how many books you've read, or just some good books that you're reading this week. You don't have to be participating in the readathon. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads because that is where I'm posting about what I'm reading and what I'm thinking. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>